Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. So guys, in this short series, I will teach you how to create a, a dictionary app using Oxford Dictionary API using Android Studio. All right, guys. So let's get started. So first of all, I want to show you the uh, the, the API which we will we will be working on. All right. So let me search. So we can say Oxford uh, Dictionary API using Android Studio. So what you can you will do is uh, you can open this developer.oxfordictionaries.com all right so here you here you need to uh, first of all register okay and after uh, there are a lot of plans free basic pro and premium according to your uh, strength you can uh, get any uh, plan here so uh, in this case we will use the free api okay so here you need to write uh, your information okay and then you need to send that information and then after that you will you will get the api key okay so in my case as i have already created the account so i will just click on sign in okay and here i will click on login so here you go now i have this account so if i click on credentials okay so here i have this okay credential and if I click on my application name, so here I have this all the information. All right, so these are the application keys, okay, of uh, my application which I have created here in our Oxford Dictionary console. So now what we can do, we uh, so you have to first of all copy this, okay. You need to copy that, and application. You also need you need to copy the application application ID, okay. After that, you need to go to the documentation, okay tab and in here you will find all the documentation here but you won't understand it okay because it is in the json format but they have uh, a lot of tools for example if you want if you want the lemon tron lemon tron means that if you write a word i mean uh, swimming okay so it will uh, extract uh, the the word as swim okay so it will depict the uh, it will remove the ing okay so and in here the dictionary entries in here you can find uh, uh, here you can see retrieve dictionary information for a given word okay so if you uh, input a word so it will uh, it will i mean it will, it will retrieve all the document uh, the dictionary information okay so if i click here so now here the example code in in four uh, languages so we need to click on java and after that here you can see they have uh, a main activity okay a very simple one and here they have a string entries and now they have and they are using the async task class okay so we will also be doing the async task and after that this code is uh, is generic okay so this code does not uh, depend on the on the api okay so now the real thing is done here okay we get the result in the form of this one all right json format so we just need to find uh, for example if we want to find uh, let me see okay so if we want to find the definitions here okay so how can we uh, parse the data so i will show you in my this series okay it's very simple and you will uh, enjoy learning all right so let's get started so let's move to our android studio and in here first of all you need to go to android manifest and here you must have the internet permission okay after that what you need to do is you need to set up your layout uh, layout okay so first of all we need an edit text okay so that the the user inputs the word and after that he will click on a button and the in the definition will be shown okay so we also need a button so i drag a button here and i name the button as find all right and after that i need to select this text view and here uh, the definition of the word will be shown all right let me first of all change uh, remove the text and i need to write hint enter the word okay and after that i need to let's make it bigger text size 16 bp all right sp sorry and here we can say definition all right 
end after that uh, your layout after your layout is complete you need to create a separate uh, class for async task okay so you need to go to new file uh, new java class and here we can say my request okay my re request and you need to click on ok and now what you need to do is you need to extend it with a sync task and the generics will be void void and void all right now you need to override a method do in background and you need to request to the api here okay and we also need the on post execute man execute method and this method will will return the json file okay uh, i mean uh, in our okay so first of all let me show you the sample which they gave you here okay so now first of all what we need is this one okay these are the my ids okay you don't need to use my api key so first of all you need to copy that here all right and after that <coughs> sorry guys and after that okay so we need to use string integer and string okay so let me use string integer and third one will be string okay now you will get an error so you need to just remove that and now you need to override the method doing background and on post execute all right guys uh, so after that what you need to do is basically okay so now you need to have you just need to copy all the code from try to catch all right so in our doing background method remove that and you need to okay so now you need to import all the classes here all right <laughs> and what is this url okay so now params is zero so first of all we need uh, the url okay so we need to first of all pass the us uh, url so for that we can copy that okay and you need to go to your main activity and here you can copy paste it here all right and after that what you need to do here is uh, this is the url okay which we will be accessing and after here we have uh, the language okay so here we can pass en en means english and the word id okay so it, it must be in the lowercase okay so it will this method will uh, generate us the url okay so now we can what we can do we can say using url and we can say url equals to dictionary entries okay so now we have the url in the here so we need to pass the this url okay so how can we do that so let's create a method public void send request api button click and in here we can say view and after that we can send I mean we can initialize first of all this one so we can say my dictionary request my dictionary request is new my dictionary request in here we, okay and after that we can simply say my dictionary request dot execute all right so first of all here what we need is we need to pass this url here okay so we can say url all right and here we can get the url okay in the form of params zero okay so uh, also we can say string url here and we can okay my url okay 
and here you can we can say my url equals to params zero and instead of param zero we can simply say my url all right so after that uh, application id we will have this application id application key and okay so now here in our own post execute execute method what we can test say we can simply uh, okay so now we need a constructor here let me first of all remove that and let me shorten the code so here we need a default constructor for our class we can say my dictionary request and in here first of all we need to pass context okay so we can also initialize it here context and we can say this dot context equals to context all right so now we can display the message i mean that the answer which we get from the api so we can say toss dot make text uh s okay so now let me first of all uh, open the sighting apps to connect my android phone with the laptop all right and after that i need to connect my phone in the meanwhile let's run our app now our phone is connected okay so we forgot to add the on click method here so first of okay so now we are getting error yes we need to pass this here all right and also we need to uh, set the on click method in our button click so we can say request api button click okay so now if we run the application all right so the application is now opened so if i click on find here is the response you get okay here is the response so we need to parse this response all right we need to find uh, we need to uh, retrieve all the values so first in in my next video we will retrieve the meaning of the word okay so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye